what is up guys welcome back to the channel and as you can see behind me there's no more chicken coop and that is because we finally got it done finally done it took four weekends i think i probably could have had it done in a few days if i had everything but we are finally done semi done with it there's still a couple things that need to be done with it but i just wanted to go over with y'all about it real quick and show y'all the finished product even though it's not completely finished it's semi-finished where the chickens and everything can still use it and can start getting them used to it that way you know i can tear down old faithful over there finally because she's just fell apart so here she is in her pride and glory the new coop so this coop is 17 feet long and the run itself is right at i think it's six foot tall and the coop from top to the bottom is eight foot in the front and seven foot in the rear it gave a good enough slope that way whenever it rains the water comes straight off of it straight off onto this one and rolls off and i've seen people on the last one or on some i've watched they use this as their door to open look into their eggs i didn't necessarily like that idea because then i'd have to sit here and trim all of this metal right here to put a hinge and open up and shut and i just wasn't interested in that so this i know i got this upside down by the way don't judge as you can see is now they're laying boxes and i buy this stuff right here from rural king where i live at it's just a pellet bedding it's worked really good for the ducklings and i had it, even had it when i had the chickens i have now i used pine bedding when i got them and i noticed real quick like i didn't like it because it's just the moisture and everything just made everything stink and i didn't i these right here are 100% better, these bed and pellets. And then the door actually opens and don't fall, it doesn't fall out. As you can see, I got more than pellets in here. I gotta get another bag to fill it on up. Um, it's actually really, really big. And y'all should see, I think it's in the time lapse of me getting in here. I've been feeling time, feeling, filming time lapses for two days finishing this up instead of talking to the camera and wasting time it's just easier to set up a time lapse but i can never I get in here and lay down not completely laid out but semi laid out and be comfortable and they also have their runs up there not runs they're roost i just took a couple extra two by fours screwed them through up there it's, it'll work for now um and then all their laying boxes right there i have this one right here for just for junk like some treats and stuff like that and this door closes back on itself but the bad part is i gotta go pick up a hinge next week to be able to close this fully because right now it don't i'm gonna get some weather stripping to go on the top the way it, that way it really hugs up um it's just real looks nice that's my biggest thing and then all this down here is i'm gonna get some clay and just put mound clay up and like a kind of like a little slope to hold that down and the only reason i'm using clay is because down here we get a lot of rain throughout the year but it also gets a lot dry a lot dry but when it dries out real hard it get when it dries out it gets really hard and it really stays there even when it gets rained on it really just stays there so i'm gonna mound dirt or red clay up onto it all the way around it and then the final this door right here shuts it's the smoothest thing it's the best door I ever built probably the only door i ever build because i plan for this to be the last chicken coop i build this is the same kind of locking mechanism I'm using the big door on the side. 
it's just quick, easy. You can come in here. And like I said before, I'm not worried about my chickens and ducks getting out. I've never really been worried about them getting out. They're out in the yard every single 24 seven, all time, every day. And I haven't finished cleaning up, so I don't mind the mess. And I know this right here isn't cut the straightest. I was trying to do my best. But um, and I ran out of ran out of sealant, so I gotta get some more sealant too, and just finish sealing that up. The only reason I put this on there is because I didn't put a door on there. I I just didn't put a door on there. But I didn't want them getting soaking wet in there. Like I didn't want the whole coop to get soaked all the time and ruin that nice bedding. So I built this. It's covered on both sides and everything. Just some old scrap pieces of tin. And it'll basically just, they can run up in there when it rains, when it comes off from up there, or if it's sideways raining, it'll hit this, roll straight off, and never go into the coop. If I start locking my chickens and stuff up, I'm just gonna close this big door, and hopefully nothing gets in there. Because once I lay that red clay down, I already got chicken wire laid down, so nothing should be able to dig in. But that's her. It turned out, way bigger than i expected oh yeah and it's five feet wide by the way five feet wide across um six foot tall i could walk in here and barely my the tip the little button on top of my hat grabs the chicken wire and this board right here but it's plenty enough for what i have coming and by the way stay tuned for that we do have more birds coming and two big surprises so y'all will most definitely have to stay tuned for that i'm ready to get them and get them here the next video is probably going to be us fencing off some more acreage for the upcoming surprises that we have and everything so y'all stay tuned if you haven't already go ahead and like subscribe comment down below enjoy the time